compendium of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The Ten Commandments, chapter 1. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. The first commandment, I am the Lord your God, you shall not have other gods before me. Question 422. What is implied in the affirmation in the affirmation of God, I am the Lord your God, Exodus chapter 20 verse 2? Answer. This means that the faithful must guard and activate the three theological virtues and must avoid sins which are opposed to them. Faith believes in God and rejects everything that is opposed to it, such as deliberate doubt, unbelief, heresy, apostasy, and schism. Hope trusting awaits the blessed vision of God and his help, while avoiding despair and presumption. Charity loves God above all things, and therefore repudiates indifference, ingratitude, lukewarmness, sloth, or spiritual indolence, and that hatred of God which is born of pride. What is the meaning of the words of our Lord? Adore the Lord your God and worship him alone. Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 these words mean to adore God as the Lord of everything that exists, to render to him the individual and community worship which is his, which is his due, to pray to him with sentiments of praise, of thanks and of supplication, to offer him sacrifices, above all the spiritual sacrifice of one's own life, united with the perfect sacrifice of Christ, and to keep the promises and vows made to him. In what way does a person exercise his or her proper right to worship God in truth and in freedom? Every person has the right and the moral duty to seek the truth, especially in what concerns God and his church. Once the truth is known, each person has the right and moral duty to embrace it, to guard it faithfully, and to render God authentic worship. At the same time, the dignity of the human person requires that, in religious matters, no one may be forced to act against conscience, nor be restrained within the just limits of public order, from acting in conformity with conscience, privately or publicly, alone or in association with others. What does God prohibit by his command? You shall not have other gods before me. Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. This commandment forbids polytheism and idolatry which divinizes creatures, power, money, or even demons. Superstition, which is a departure from the worship due to the true God, and which also expresses itself in various forms of divination, magic, sorcery, and spiritism. A religion, which is evidenced, in tempting God by word or deed, in sacrilege, which profanes sacred persons or sacred things, above all the Eucharist, and in simony, which, simony, which involves the buying or selling of spiritual things. Atheism, which, re which, re which rejects the existence of God, founded often on a false conception of human autonomy. Agnosticism, which affirms that nothing can be known about God, 
and involves indifferentism and practical atheism. Question 446. Does the commandment of God, you shall, not, you shall not make for yourself a graven image, Exodus chapter 20 verse 3, forbid the cult of images? Answer. In the Old Testament, this commandment forbade any representation of God who is absolutely transcendent. The Christian veneration of sacred images, however, is justified by the incarnation of the Son of God, as taught by the Second Council of Nicaea in 787. Because such veneration is founded on the mystery of the Son of God made man, in whom the transcendent God is made visible. This does not mean the adoration of an image, but rather the, ven the veneration of the one who is represented in it, for example, Christ, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the angels, and the saints. <laughs>